In this video lecture, I will explain finite automata to left linear grammar conversion. So in my previous video lecture, I have explained finite automata to right linear grammar conversion. So that was straightforward. So when we have to do finite automata to right linear grammar, what we do? We if I have uh, you can see in this example, we have three states A, B and C. So we will write uh, directly, we will write three um, non-terminal. OK, so we will write OK, A, B and C. And then from state A to B, there is a transition for input A. So we will write A, B. OK, and from A to C, there is a transition for input B. So we will write B, C. And then from state B uh, to B itself, there is a transition for input A and B both. So we will write A, B and B, B. And from C, same way, we will write A, C and B, C. And since B is the final state, so we are going to add epsilon. So this is this is right linear grammar. But here, left linear grammar, what we have to do, whatever uh, finite automata is given to us, okay, we need to take the reverse of that. So that is the first step. And then we have to write once we uh, take we, once we get the reverse of the finite automata for that we have to write the right linear grammar in the second step okay using the same procedure the way we write right linear grammar from finite automata same way we have to write the right linear grammar for the reverse of finite automata in the second step and third step uh, after writing uh, the grammar right linear grammar in the second step we need to just reverse the right linear grammar and that will be the final left linear grammar which we want okay so this particular example if i want right linear grammar it is straightforward like this we will write left linear grammar what we have to do first we have to reverse this automata so how to reverse the automata in automata uh, there will be uh, start state and final state so in reverse auto, uh, reverse of the finite automata make start as make start as final and final as start and reverse the direction of the edges so here you can see this is the start state this is the final state so now this becomes start and this becomes final so b becomes start and c a becomes final and reverse the direction of all the edges so first there was a um, there was an edge from a to b now there will be an edge from b to a and this also instead of a to c the direction will be from c to a self loop will be same so this is the this is the reverse 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 of finite automata this is step one step two what we have to do for this now write the uh, right linear grammar okay and here uh, one more thing is there this is not a dfa this is not a dfa why because you can see from state b there is a transition for input a there are two paths right so from state b you can see it is like delta of b comma a is nothing but it is it can be b or it can be a so for input a it is going to more than one state so this is not a dfa because for input A uh, from state B, we are going, uh, we are having two output uh, that is B and A both. So this is NFA. So the final, uh, this will not be a DFA. So the result is NFA. Okay. And here, this is the, uh, this is the reverse uh, of the finite automata. And why we have removed this C? Because you can see this is not reachable from the start state. Now B is the start state and there is no way that we can reach to C from B. So this is non-reachable state. So that, that's why we have to remove this. So after removing this, we have this finite automata. And this is the reverse of the this finite original finite automata now for this we will write the right linear grammar as per the step 2 so right linear grammar is straightforward we have two non terminal here two state a and b so we will write two non terminal a and b and same way now for input a uh, sorry the state a there is no uh, transition shown here but since this is the final state so we have to write epsilon for the final state and from uh, state b there are uh, uh, three transition basically for input a we have we can we are going to b itself and for input a it is going to a also and for input b again there is a self loop on b so this is the right linear grammar okay so a b uh, b b okay and a a and for a it is epsilon so now this is right linear grammar we got what we want we want left linear grammar so step three what we have to do we have to again reverse the right linear grammar so after reversing it will be it will be b a so a b will become b a b b will become 
B B and A A will become A A and A to epsilon. So this is what this is left linear grammar. So this is the procedure. We have finite automata. First reverse the finite automata. Then write the right linear grammar for that, and then reverse the right linear grammar, and finally you get left linear. grammar so this is how we write the left linear grammar from the finite automata if it is finite automata to right linear grammar it is straight forward left linear grammar whatever input is given to us the machine first we reverse the machine and how we reverse make start as final final as start and reverse the direction of all the edges and after that write the right linear grammar and then reverse the right linear grammar that will be the final answer so hope you have understood the concept thank you for watching